Hey, it's Coach Josh, and uh, I've got a workout today for all you cyclists out there who might be pressed for time, might, might have a lot going on, a lot of stress in the world, stress in life, so can't get to the gym to do what you're normally doing to uh, get those uh, heavy squats and deadlifts. Have no fear, we're gonna do two exercises. It's going to work your, your whole body, but focus on the posterior chain, upper back, middle back, low back, hamstrings, glutes, uh, all those things at the same time. We're gonna do a kettlebell high pull, and we're gonna do uh, a push-up from the floor uh, that's gonna be focused on hip mobility. So the high pull is, is simply Romanian deadlift and a upright row uh, uh, put together at the same time. Now it's also, a tri you're getting the triple action of a, uh, the upward motion of a uh, Olympic lift without the barbell or the high wrist. So, Starting from the kettlebell in the hang position, I'm gonna push my hips back into a deep RDL. My back's not gonna round, I'm gonna see a nice strong pillar. I'm gonna pop my hips forward, I'm gonna explode through the glutes, pop up onto my toes, and I'm gonna ride the momentum, pull that kettlebell into my chest. So, pop, oh, that's my constant pop. Come back down. To notice, as I throw my hips forward and come up on my toes, it's easy to lose my balance. It's okay. I try to keep the pressure on the inside of my foot, the ball of the big toe specifically. Go back, fly around. The elbows are gonna lead, the elbows are gonna lead that kettlebell on the way up and I'm going into chest height. We're not trying to go higher than that. I'm, I'm pulling it into me, so I'm squeezing my traps and scapula together at the top. I'm gonna do 10 reps of that. And as soon as I'm done, I'm gonna get on the ground. I'm just gonna do four push-ups. What I'm gonna do with these four push-ups is I've got a straight line here on this floor. Hopefully you have a line or a guide point. You could draw it in chalk if you're in your on your kitchen. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put my hands on the line, and then I'm gonna come up here in this grasshopper deep lunge position. And then I'm gonna scrape my foot along the line out. So up here, pressing out, locking out that leg, coming back, pulling myself to the floor in a decentric push up, power back up, lunge, sliding that leg out, big swing motion to that perfect push up position, back down, up, out. All the way out. Whoa, so it's kind of hard. As you can see, I'm really working to keep that foot in that straight line up off the ground, bringing it out. Four push ups. That's how I'll perform. Then I'll go back to the high pull. Now, the rest and the reps will vary depending on how you're training, how heavy the weight is. But Four, 10 is a good starting point. Doing that every minute on the minute is serious business. I'm going to do that for eight to 10 minutes and you'll be on fire. Training your core, training your glutes, hips, groin. And again, it's all about posture. You're not in a hurry. You're not rushing anything, whether it's a push up or that swinging motion that way. Whatever you're doing, you're putting mindful effort into it that you're reaping all the benefits. Do that uh, every strength training day. Continue to bring forth the warrior within.